We ended our second day on Amtrak's California Zephyr in Denver. After miles of fantastic scenery, crews clean the windows while the train is being serviced. We had come from Sacramento two days before, and now we were on the final stretch to Chicago. The snowstorm we'd followed in the Rocky Mountains had left a white blanket across the flat landscape. This was day three on the California Zephyr. When day broke, we were in Nebraska. Trees were bare and the snow was everywhere, but it didn't seem too deep. This is rural America, the land of farms and small towns. It's the railroad that turned these grasslands into America's breadbasket. We could still see the stubble of last year's crops as we passed field after field. The morning started quiet. The spectacular scenery of the past two days was behind us now. No soaring mountain peaks or deep canyons here. Yet this land, asleep under the snow, had its own beauty. Crossing into the state of Iowa didn't bring much change in the landscape. You know, get if anything, it was flatter. Yeah, there they are. We did see something different crossing into Illinois. We stopped chewing our lunch long enough to gaze out at the mighty Mississippi River, a wide river big. even this far north. Okay, we are crossing the Mississippi River right here. Oh, look at that old, <laughs> old barge hulk there. <laughs> I didn't know it was this wide this far up. Mm -hmm. I know in Louisiana it's like a mile across. It was like we barely got our car on this little ferry mm -hmm. and they just kind of pulled us across and rode across and it was like, now you get off. Mm -hmm. And I remember doing that. We chatted with our lunch companions, this being the last time we would get a chance to do so. This was the last meal on the train before Chicago. Is there something you need about that? We're going on a Mississippi. Attention, ladies and gentlemen, this should not occur to you speaking as we cross the beautiful Mississippi River. As we're about to cross into Illinois, this will be the last call for lunch in the dining car. Um, if you desire to have lunch in our dining car, we're please going come on at this time once again. This is on the Mississippi last River and final day. call for lunch and in the dining car. Up. Well, when I was up here, and when I started seeing the brochures of the riverboats, that's my on my list to do. Yeah. Those riverboats. We did run on the Columbia River. From Astoria, Oregon, up to Lewiston, Idaho, and back to Astoria, it was a big paddle wheel. We've seen it. We we went on a, a different kind of boat, but it was it was doing the river still. We did a small ship cruise. I don't know if that one's still on. It closed for a while, but a lot of things have come back, or other people have bought them. One more train. Because we were on Cruise West. And all their well, they had an accident. Yeah. They ran it aground. I think that's it. They went to Alaska. Yeah. Well, because I do know, know a lot of the tour boats on the Columbia closed because gas prices are so high. Oh. That got a lot of them. And then with this uh, recession, a lot, a lot fewer people are doing that kind of thing. Approaching Chicago, we passed through many small communities their main streets parallel to the railroad tracks. There was a Starbucks. I saw a bakery. Inside Chicago city limits, we had to adjust to this very urban landscape. It's probably a project. 
object. There, shot. There's the only object to the shot you want. Yep. Easing into Chicago, we saw lots of Amtrak cars on the rails. I got one with the train in it for you. Good. We seem to be heading right into the Sears building, or I should say under the Sears building. We're actually going under Union Station here. Okay, mine's away. Our spectacular three-day journey was over. We got off the California Zephyr in the darkness of the Union Station Underground. We'd arrived in Chicago, as far east as the California Zephyr goes. I hope you enjoyed the ride on the California Zephyr.